Well, I spent a fair amount of time down there on the actual Friday of the closure, um, more or less to do interviews, but in between interviews I was there speaking with a number of the employees uh, who are either retired or now retiring by force. And uh, um, for the most part, I think everybody's accepted it and are at this point where, well, now we're moving on. Uh, there, there's a new future for us to look at. We have the Highbury Canco group coming in, smaller operation to start, but I think everybody realizes that the potential is there. Our area is known for growing food and it just, it's pure logic that we would be a food hub where we do all food processing as well. So I, I think there's still a cluster of folks that are probably, uh, you know, hurt by this closure. Uh, hopefully they will find job opportunities in and around the area. Uh, but I think the greater part of Leamington has gone through the mourning period and realized that, well, you know what, we're still here, the sun came up, and we're moving forward. Well, th there's a number of steps that we have been taking since the day the announcement of closure was made, and so that's going out and searching for new industries and businesses to locate in this municipality to create, you know, both tax revenue for the municipality as well as job opportunities for the people who are being displaced and for our, all of our kids that are now growing up. Um, more recently, we have been talking about the development charges as everybody in this municipality, the um, province seems to be doing anymore. And uh, Leamington has had a, a history of really good solid growth on an annual basis, but in the last years it really tapered off. Uh, some point the finger at our development charge. Um, the rest of us look at the numbers and say, well, it really doesn't make sense because when we raised our development charge the way it was, we were still having that kind of de development going. It's when we started the depletion of actual building lots to choose from. So you can argue it both ways, it doesn't really matter. Our council has been much more progressive saying, you know, we really do believe that we have to make a statement to the developers and the builders out there and say, look, we're willing to work with you on these development charges and bring them down and we're currently discussing that. We have At our last council meeting, which included an open session, we talked about anywhere from 25 to 50 percent reduction in those um, and there are talks of maybe more, maybe less, maybe none at all.